weaning was the hardest thing that they had to do even more than birth. It's so like going backwards, he wants it even more now. Like I can't do this anymore, it's too hard. Ooh, grab all we can find, grab all we can find. I'm coming to search for you. Don't wait. What? Come on, let's exchange the day for a Let's go and have some breakfast. Let's go. Today, it's not gonna be an exciting day. It's gonna be a chill, real, raw motherhood kind of day. Um, I have a lot of thoughts that I wanna share with you. Hello, are you coming to say hi? Hi, he's walking so nicely, right? It's his new favorite things to do. We're gonna stay home, Foxy and I, Lior, left to New York. Um, his flight was early morning. So th the first thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that I'm trying to wean Fox off of breast milk, like off of breastfeeding, which is important to differ between the two. He needs my touch, my boob, my nipple, rather than a bottle, which he, you know he was used to taking a bottle like a you know normal bottle um i feel like it would have been so much easier it's something that i will definitely do next time like i will be so consistent with introducing a bottle milk in a bottle at least once in every few days um i wasn't with fox and now it's like I can see why people told me to do that and I didn't listen. The only bottle that he loves is the zippy cups, um, like the zippy style cups and he wouldn't drink anything other than Foxy, where are you? Just water. It's been really, really rough. I woke up this morning with good energy because yesterday we had really a really good day with Lior. We just had a really good day together as a family. So I've been feeling a lot better today and hopeful. But to be completely honest, I was borderline, like pretty much depressed in the past couple of weeks. Not only I wasn't able to find any milk that Fox would take he would literally spit it out any type of milk like i tried everything so lucky he really really enjoys water he drinks a lot of water so at least he has this like he gets like fluids that's for sure a lot of it but i'm trying to just give him the protein and the calcium and the fat from other like from food which has been tough as well another challenge so i've been really depressed in the past couple of weeks it's been tough it's been tough i just want to mention it because i feel like not a lot of people are talking about it and i am lucky enough for my instagram community we're a small community but at least i have some amazing mamas out there that always supports one another and few of them wrote that 
winning was the hardest thing that they had to do even more than birth and that's exactly what I've been feeling because mentally it's really really heartbreaking to know that your child like wants your boob all the time and it doesn't do well like you're not doing well because of it so to find the balance of like winning in a you know in a good pace that suits you and the baby and the toddler now it's he's no longer a baby anyway i feel like i'm mumbling so my plan for today is basically to play with fox here for a little while because he needs to go to sleep for his first nap he needs to go in about an hour so i really like to give him like my full attention in the morning especially because in the early morning when i'm getting ready he's playing by himself downstairs so after we are eating we usually come here i change his clothes and we are hanging out here in his room so i'm gonna catch up with you guys in a little bit whenever he's gonna take a nap um yeah i'll see you guys soon So I was able to put him down, um, I feel like a little bit of a failure because I did give up and give him the boob. He was screaming and yelling and was very emotional, he had all the big emotions and I just really, I'm tired so I, I give him the boob. So that's what I was talking about, um, having this like really like those moments that you doubt yourself and even though you know you're doing everything right you're doing everything right for the family for yourself for your, your child potentially i just felt not good i felt a lot of mom guilt and you know for trying to take it away from him and i wish he would have taken a bottle or a pacifier he just for months he didn't like it just maybe like in the first three months he would maybe a little bit but he never he was never like a passy baby or a bottle which is my fault i should have pushed more towards that but he didn't even like pacifiers i feel like the boob gave him like everything he needed and now i'm taking everything away from him which feels really hard and i've been crying a lot but i'm not gonna do it here this is a positive video um i was just thinking of mentioning it just because i feel like not a lot of mamas talking about how hard this process really is and you're being judged a lot like you know if he needs the boob why you want to take it away from him then i just ignore most of these comments it's just too hard for me to deal with because it's something that i doubt myself every time but i just really feel like i can't do this anymore it's too hard having him depending on me for over a year like being on a short leash not being able to go out for more than a couple of hours or have like the freedom to sleep for a straight night because he never slept through the night it's just hard and i'm not gonna drown into this too much i just thought it's important to mention in case any of you are going through it i also heard from a friend that there's some sort of a high for like nursing like a, a mama who is breastfeeding there's like a hormone that gives like a feel of some sort of a high and once you trying to reduce it and take it away like slowly slowly reducing it basically the hormones go crazy they go down and you feel like pretty much depressed and just i don't know why i never heard anyone talk about it so i thought i throw it in here also also on top of all of that if you've been here um in the past couple of like few months you know that i've been trying to get pregnant which i have been pregnant um a month and a half ago 
something like that maybe even more at this point i don't really know i didn't look at the app for a while it's just depressing even more depressing to me um so i just wanted to give a little update because um i feel like i didn't talk about it in a while i still didn't get my period ever since the miscarriage and my doctor um said that it's normal to not get the period back for weeks after you had miscarriage so I'm just waiting. I feel like my hormones are just going crazy from the winning and you know the miscarriage and now waiting for the period. It's just a lot to handle but at least we have a napping baby. Every nap is a victory so I am celebrating this one. I had like a half an hour work session I made a few phone calls for like the house things. That's about it for now. I'm not gonna mumble too much. Um, I did get, let me show you. So we got him a potty and this one called the newbie, my real potty. And I know he's just 12 months old, but I really wanted like for a really long time just to introduce it to him. Um, he has a really good schedule with like going number two he's very on point so i feel like if i'll introduce it to him and he'll, he'll feel comfortable with it um he might be able to use it soon i don't know no pressure at all i just feel like it's nice to have it introduced to him early on so he won't feel like intimidated whenever the time is right to really start working on it i might do it today just show it to him so stay tuned he's gonna wake up I'm gonna open it up and also I'm gonna show you the last box we got from Love Every. I think it's my favorite box so far. I just opened it yesterday and I shared on Instagram how amazing this box is. So thoughtful, so amazing. I can't wait to share it with you. I can't wait to show you Foxy playing with all of the new things. So yeah, I'm gonna chat with you and just a little bit when he will wake up. Hopefully it will be like in at least half an hour so i can rest a little bit and maybe continue working i'll talk to you soon <laughs> You close and I love you. You want to sit? Opa. How does that feel? How does that feel? No, that's totally fine. You want to try and sit? Nope. <laughs> also, while he's playing with it, I wanted to share with you our new gallery wall. I have this like whole plan of how to cover the frame, like wood tone um, tape, and I never really had the time to do that. But I feel like it looks really cute right now, but I'm definitely not gonna keep the silver. I'm either gonna take the time and cover with the wood tape that I have or just maybe spray it in gold or black. I don't know, what do you guys think? Gold or black? And I'm gonna go back to this thing now. Fun stuff. <laughs> Someone is asking for the boob again and it's only been two hours since he ate, so no. I love you so much. It's like going backwards. He wants it even more now. So it's a few minutes later. He calmed down pretty quickly. I was stubborn this time. I thought I might need to give up again, but I haven't. He sees my boobs and it's all over again. I love you so much. Maybe you want to eat lunch already? It's a little bit early, but we can have lunch. <laughs> Take two. You want to play with something? What is this? Put it here. 
here. Yay, good job! Good job! Love Every is a thoughtfully crafted child developmental toy company who carries not only some important standalone staple products, but also these amazing play kits that are not only beautiful, but also child safe and sustainable delivered to your child every couple of months in their first year or every three months from years one to three. These are well-researched and made for learning toys will not only be your child's favorite, but also yours as a parent since they will save you a ton of time researching and will also look really nice in your home, which is always a plus. Check out Love Every's link in my description box if you're curious and let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. So it's actually past five right now. It's getting darker even though you can't really see it through the camera. We are still in this playroom. As soon as I took the camera out of the way, he started playing so nicely and we are playing up until now, which been like, I don't know, over an hour, two hours. It's been a long time. And all I can say in terms of like tips for winning is that you need to be patient and give yourself some grace because it's a really long, hard, intimidating difficult a lot of self guilt process but they're so amazing and you just need to remind yourself that you know it's just a process that takes time that's what I keep reminding myself and hopefully soon I'll give you a good update that we are close to be done or maybe even done soon so yeah I'm not rushing it anyway I thought I'm gonna end the video here just because it's the end of the day and I think I shared everything I have on my heart I have a really cool video coming up so make sure you're staying tuned and subscribe to my channel if you want to be updated with new videos that's coming up and make sure to talk to me down in the comments I would love to chat with you guys like this video if you like this one and I'll see you again in the next video bye